everybody, Eric Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a quick hair and habitat card for you. This is a bundle from our new uh, 2022 to 2023 annual catalog. Um, I really like these stamps because they have a lot of detail in them. Just one uh, stamp will give you all that texture. Um, if you uh, like birds or waterfowl in particular, this is a great stamp set for you. It also has um, some fantastic sentiments to go along with it. All right, let's start by doing our stamping. Um, the measurements for this card will be over on my blog on a free PDF. There are a few pieces that you need. It actually is pretty simple. We'll start with this piece right here, which is the background piece. I'm going to use Balmy Blue, and I am going to add just this little kind of water feature. I'm going to stamp it twice right there. And then I'm going to use my, actually, while we have the balmy blue, let's do some birds up here as well. I'm going to use Old Olive and a Soft Suede Stamp and Write marker to do my cattails. Um, I'm going to stamp them on my Old Olive ink pad. And then I'm going to take my blender pen and wipe off the excess ink there. All right, and then I will take the soft suede and add the color to that, and we'll stamp one right there. And then we're gonna repeat that over here. And you, again, using your blender pen to remove that ink, add the soft suede, and I'm gonna stamp one over here. All right, now we're gonna use another piece of cardstock to do the same thing. Um, this one we're gonna cut out with the matching dies. Now a blender pen is just like a marker with some solvent in it. And when you're done, you can use scratch paper to run this clean. Let's see, I don't have my grid paper, but once you run it clean, then you can use it for any color you want. And eventually, all the color that you have picked up will run clean. All right, I've got one more piece that's gonna go on the inside. And I'm gonna do this one more time. Remove that color. And add the soft suede. And I'm just gonna stamp that right down here in the corner. Okay, now let's bring over our bird, our heron. And I'm gonna use Smoky Slate. And we're gonna come back to this extra piece right here and stamp her right there. Isn't that beautiful? It's so much detail. Now I'm gonna take a um, Petal Pink Stampin' Blend, dark, and just add a little bit of color to her beak right there. Okay, now we're ready to Cut out and we've got the matching dies right here and this one we also need to cut out the sentiment so let's see we're gonna use this one right here and we'll stamp that on another piece of basic white I ran out of room no problem <laughs> always have basic white hanging around we'll stamp that right there in old olive all right let's bring over our cut and emboss machine and we can get all of these cut in one pass of our cut and emboss machine now use all the little windows here on your die so that it is perfectly lined up. You'll be able to see in those little dots um, the color. As soon as the dot is filled with color, you'll know that it is lined up because you can see the, this, the parts of the cattail there in those dots. All right, very carefully lay that down and run it through. Okay, we've got our bird, we've got our cattail. 
Now let's bring back over that piece right there. And we're gonna add her with a dimensional. And I'm gonna do it up a little bit like that. And then I have already ahead of time cut out the grass piece from Old Olive. And we'll use mini dimensionals here to put this on. Right there in the middle. So she's behind the grass. And then we've got one more cattail. Again, I'll use mini dimensionals for this one. Put that right there. And now I'm gonna take my linen thread and wrap my linen thread around two times. One and two, and then we'll tie a knot right here and finish with a bow like that. All right, we are ready to put this all together. I have a soft suede piece and we're gonna adhere that right to that soft suede piece. It's just a little bit bigger. So it's gonna mat, give us a mat on our white piece. And then I have a piece of balmy blue and we're actually gonna stamp those birds and the cattails in balmy blue. Use your chamois, clean off your stamps. And this is just gonna be kind of a silhouette in the background. I'm gonna stamp and stamp again, stamp, stamp again, and maybe, maybe one more up like that. All right, and then take your birds and do the same thing, one, two, three, four. All right. I have cut three old olive strips and we're going to use stamp and seal to put those right here. These are three and a half by half an inch. Like that. And then one more. This kind of anchors everything down together, pulls it all in. Push those down, grab some more dimensionals. And we're gonna put that right there. Now, last but not least, we need to put our little sentiment, you're in my thoughts today. I love this label because it has little heart cutouts. And we're gonna put that right there. Okay, now we're ready for our card base and that little inside piece that we stamped the cattail on. Let's put this on a Knight of Navy card base. And then we'll put this piece on the inside. And there you have it. A simple yet beautiful um, hair and habitat card. Now I will have two other videos featuring this stamp set. Make sure you have subscribed to my blog so you are subscribed to my YouTube channel so that you won't miss any of them. Thanks everybody. Bye bye.